So let me share again. Window. It looks. Oh, oh okay. Right so on. Now we see. That's that's the... my uh, screen. That's no. how it looks <laughs> when I share my screen. So as a fallback, um, you can send me the presentation and I click through it. Or um, this one is a draft. And maybe while Maria is uh, trying to uh, to find a solution, I can entertain with a little bit introduction. Mm -hmm. Maria joins the team uh, a couple of months ago and we were wondering what she can do. Um, she was interested in Calc and was thinking about to um, aggregate a little bit the, um, the tickets on Baxilla to see what people uh, want or how people want to enhance uh, Calc. This is, well, we, we do have this kind of aggregation that is called a meta ticket. And um, it is uh, still not simple to, to, to guess what a user really want, what they need and how the scenario is. So we came up with the idea to run a survey similar to what we did from the design team a couple of years ago for draw. Um, this was a very interesting survey as it revealed a large number of uh, options. Um, options, uh, what users do with um, this, um, this draw. And we were a little bit in hope for a similar, uh, similar result. So we run survey this one. Um, we run a survey on our survey platform with uh, three pages. The analysis uh, was done with R for the quantitative data and we did uh, the quantita uh, qualitative data uh, based on quantitative with the idea uh, that you are not really aware what you want uh, from, uh, uh, from an application. If you're getting asked uh, what do you like on Jitsi, how should Jitsi improve? It is not so easy to answer, but if you ask, uh, would it be nice to have a better presentation mode? Maybe people are, uh, it's easier for people to, uh, to reply. So we did this combination of um, questions and now it's Maria's uh, uh, <laughs> show. She is much better in speaking than me. Sure. Um, so I just send you the like updated file because I added a couple of slides. Um, I, I shared it with you with Telegram. I'm still having problems with um, uh, it does not let me share. Um, when I select window, it's the message shows failed. Yeah, so um, I just added a couple of slides. So so we'll start with a summary. So um, we surveyed 1,230 people to learn more about the users of Calc, as uh, Heiko mentioned. Um, the results were not surprising, but the, sur the survey did give us an idea of the most significant pain points of Calc users and where efforts to improve the software should be allocated. As a part of the survey, we've administered a system usability scale um, or SAS questionnaire, which is um, a standardized questionnaire used to measure usability of a software. The SAS score generally ranges from zero to 100, and the overall score for Calc was 71.4. This is considered as an above average score. Top reported pain points for server participants included um, usability, especially around pivot tables and charts. People mentioned that these features were more difficult to use or limited compared to Excel. Another pain point related to usability was feature discoverability. Participants reported that it is uh, sometimes challenging to find features they need. Um, survey results uh, also indicated that Calc users want to see a better compatibility with Excel. And one way to, to address this issue is to introduce new functions such as XLOOKUP. Another reported pain point was speed and performance, uh, especially uh, while handling large data sets, uh, as well as stability of the software and UI design. So we can go to the next slide now. 
So um, here we have um, an overview of characteristics and demographics of our respondents. It is important to note that the survey was advertised on subreddits dedicated to uh, Linux. So our data is skewed towards users of Linux. Um, I think these, the other graphs are pretty self-explanatory, so I will not go into uh, more detail um, to describe them. Um, so yes, yeah, so slide four. Um, so not surprisingly, most participants reported to employ cloud for personal and business use. And the majority of our participants uh, re reported to use Calc almost every day or rather frequently. Okay. Um, also not surprisingly, Excel and Google Sheets were reported as some of the most popular alternative uh, data um, related softwares. Uh, as you can see on this graph, 30% um, of server participants reported to use R as well. And uh, another major ca category of 10% uh, was Python. Um, and on the right, you can see um, a bigger list of different other tools uh, that people use. Uh, uh, but um, the number of people that use them is uh, relatively low compared to, um, to Excel, uh, Google Sheets, uh, R, and Python. So um, these graphs show um, the most, I guess, common data sizes reported participants, reported by participants of our survey. And um, the most common file sizes, as we can see from these graphs, is under five megabytes or under 1,000 uh, rows of data. Uh, however, some people um, report uh, using Calc uh, with rather large data sets, uh, such as um, over a million rows um, or um, over uh, or, or, or about 1,000 megabytes. So the most popular reported use cases for Calc are data storage and tracking, finance and accounting, uh, as well as data analysis and calculations. Uh, so I just named three, the top three uh, features um, on this graph. Server participants reported to use Calc for personal finances or budgeting, as well as business accounting. Some of the data people reported to track, to track include health related data, such as blood pressure measurements, expenses, time, and inventory. We can go to the next slide. So in terms of formulas and calculations, uh, the most widely used functions are mathematical, uh, logical, and date functions. Um, array and database functions are less common. So this graph shows how important certain calc features are to um, um, our respondents. And the gray bars show the percentage of respondents that are not familiar with a particular feature. For example, quite a few server respondents uh, are not familiar with scenarios or goal seek. Mm -hmm. uh, not surprisingly, formulas and calculations are reported as some of the most important features as you can see from this graph, and Heiko points this out. What's interesting is that some features, such as pivot tables and uh, data uh, validity, um, that have been not familiar to some users, are rated as quite important by users um, that are familiar with that particular feature. OK, now uh, we can go to the next slide. So I, I, to me, now we get to probably the most interesting part. Um, so we get to the uh, system usability scale or SAS questionnaire. Um, and SAS, as I mentioned in the introduction, is, is a standardized questionnaire used to measure usability of a software. Um, our survey um, results indicate that SAS score for Calc is quite high. 
uh, it is 71.4, which is considered above average as indicated by other similar studies. For example, the average test score from 500 studies conducted by Jeff Sauer, uh, which is um, who is one of the prominent usability practitioners, um, uh, was 68. Uh, so uh, having a score of 71.4 is quite good. However, um, here it is important to note that although the overall SAS score for CALC was 71, uh, the average SAS score for, for CALC beginners was slightly lower, it was 68. Um, and this score or result is um, consistent with some feedback we've seen from the survey. Um, We've noticed that uh, survey participants reported that calc is a little bit difficult to use uh, when traditional, traditioning from Excel. So if a beginner that is used to Excel tries to use LibreOffice, they may face some difficulties. Okay, we can go to the next slide. So um, we asked participants, what do you expect from calc in the future? Uh, most answers evolved around improvements such as better compatibility with Excel, uh, usability improve improvements, especially around pivot tables and charts, uh, design, uh, as well as speed and performance, especially when working with large data sets. And this graph uh, lists uh, other additional features or improvements that people mentioned. Um, and I just named um, the top the top ones. So this is the uh, this is the first part, and then this is the second. Yeah, the second part. So like, like learnability was also one of them, and le learnability is tied with usability and future discover discoverability. Uh, I think we should mention uh, that what eight percent means. It is a bit unclear from the scale. This. Um, um, category is an extraction from an open question. People respond, I think LibreOffice should develop on the usability, it should be faster, and uh, I would appreciate if uh, pivot tables uh, were easier to handle. This person would receive an um, entry for pivot table, one for usability and maybe one for performance. And from the total number of subjects, uh, the percentage uh, um, reported here is the, the number of people, the total number from total number uh, who are reporting in uh, a category that we extract from the open question post-hoc. It's um, people say quite a lot if you ask them freely. And um, the challenge is to aggregate everything into uh, meaningful categories. That's something that Maria did with a great effort and um, it took a lot of time and uh, this uh, the actual result here. <laughs> Sorry for interrupting you. Oh, no, no, it was very good addition. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, so I think now we can go to the next slide. Um, so, um, yeah, so this slide um, again shows um, the list of, um, of improvements that people suggested. Um, and this particular um, slide will include, um, as Heiko will go further, uh, some quotes from participants. Um, that we extracted from the survey. So for example, in terms of keyboard shortcuts, um, one participant reported that copying, cutting, moving of cells uh, should be simplified. Um, and the ribbon and toolbar interface um, should also be improved uh, with most used functions. Um, in terms of health, documentation uh, participant uh, reported that a lot of information, especially for non-trivial things, is not detailed enough uh, or is obsolete. Uh, conditional of, of, of uh, formatting uh, should, um, should not fragment when rows added. And removing dupl duplicates from a data set is much more cumbersome than in Excel. 
um, scrolling provide an option to, yeah, provide, yeah. <laughs> so uh, improved function wizard. Going a little bit faster, it's uh, perhaps better than I speak. Uh, yeah. uh, it's a couple of examples. Uh, you can read it or glance over it to get an impression how people report here when they uh, get asked what they uh, expect from the future. And that's what they report and how we uh, collect uh, the uh, bigger categories out of it the character styles within a cell. People want a lot of formatting within a cell. That's quite, well, not, not really surprising, but um, calc is uh, used, also, also used as a kind of a layouting tool for tabular data, let's say. Speed is quite often reported here. It's not sorted. The response is just um, to point out uh, from uh, I was we're going through the reports, and these are just examples that uh, um, came up here. Well, yes, conditional formatting is uh, something that both us people quite a lot, and they talk about pivot table. Sure. Well, very precise response. Solver needs to store data and they ask for wizards. The chart wizard is something that can be improved. Of course, a lot can be improved. The documentation is uh, something that needs some love. Speed again, here's an example with a size and that's all. Maria, your turn. Yeah, so basically, uh, these were just examples uh, based on what people reported. And basically, most improvements can fall under the six categories. And we can go to the next slide. So, um, yeah, so based on the uh, comments we've seen, here are some um, recommendations for usability improvements. Um, so one would be uh, to simplify UI to make the software easier to use for beginners. However, still offer more complex UI with advanced functionality on demand for advanced and inter intermediate users. Improve learnability by educating users about the workflow with the wizards, documentation, and examples. Uh, I think this is especially important for pivot tables, formulas, uh, charts, and Python my macros, as these seem to be the features people have most problems with. It also could be that some of these are most commonly used. And that's why we see we, we saw more comments about these features. Also, improve feature discoverability. One good suggestion we've seen uh, regarding this issue is a, a global search functionality. Um, and uh, lastly, uh, improve compatibility with Excel. Um, for example, introduce Excel functions that may be currently missing in Calc, such as XLOOKUP function. So click to exit. Thanks, Maria. Um, I think we have time for a few questions. Yes, indeed. Thanks a lot. And thanks for the work. I'm not seeing any questions in the chat room, but I guess we could take them uh, live here in Jitsi if anyone has something to say. Well, if not, then we'll take a short break before the next talk, and it's the final one in this room. Thanks for listening. We will uh, report uh, about the results in the design blog and, of course, share the presentation. So maybe if more question arise uh, the design people are available in telegram and matrix and irc and everywhere in the world just ask
And now, as we close the questions, of course, we have a question. <laughs> it's from Rafael Lima. Yeah. And uh, he's asking, there's a lot of work to be done in improving Kalk. Could it be done with some sort of grants to fund these improvements? And yes, obviously, uh, some of this could be done uh, by money taken from the Document Foundation budget. And this is uh, decided by the Engineering Steering Committee. So anyone can propose budget items and they will be evaluated by the committee and then presented to the board for tendering. So everything is possible. And the question about a prioritization from Shinji. Um, I think, Maria, you wanted to uh, um, put these results together with uh, what we have in the bug tracker, the meta tickets, and generate some kind of a preference list, priority list. Is this a plan? Yeah, that was the idea for the survey to see where people report most uh, problems and then take the results and prioritize uh, the bug list. So, for example, if people struggle with pivot tables, maybe the first thing to do is to look uh, bugs related to pivot tables or charts, for example. I got a, a question in, in private by Flywire. A reasonable sample of users? Of course not. That's what we tried to, to show in the first uh, picture here. Um, oops, sharing again this one. It would be a great world if the majority of users uh, is using Linux as uh, operating systems, green one, and uh, Windows is down to, let's say, 30%. I'm not against Windows, by the way. No, just kidding. Um, it shows that our sample is not um, representative for the whole uses of LibreOffice. But that's a problem that we always have. We, um, we cannot get um, or we, we cannot speak to the real user. We have to use some social media, some communication channels uh, where the um, um, usual suspects are um, always addressed. And that's are the nerds and that are the um, people who are um, more advanced users, more interested in this um, technical stuff. And that's something we see quite often, but there's no other opportunity to get a large number of users other than making the application to call home, unfortunately. Yeah, because I also think that if we would do uh, like a representative sample, we would need to compensate users. And for that, we would need additional budget. OK, Gabriel, slide nine. That's a, a Likert scale. Likert scale means you ask uh, with a number from one to five between the, the um, low or the, the minor anchor and the high value. In this case, it was uh, how important is a feature to you? Not important at all, one or very important. And the, the, the subjects were asked, uh, using formulas and calculation, how important is it? And most people say, absolutely, I use um, formulas every day. Of course, you do so. When it comes to pivot table, um, many users who report on this question uh, reply with uh, either very important, the highest category, or the one below, five or four. That's the, the two greenish, bluish, whatever color it is. Uh, but at the same time, we have a good number of people who choose the, the extra category of uh, I'm not familiar with the feature. I have never heard about a pivot table. I don't know what it is, so I cannot say if it's important to me or not. That means here, um, you cannot read it, probably it is 20%. Uh, 
uh, of users uh, of subjects reported no, I don't know, pivot table. That's quite a lot. Uh, the percentage is uh, deducted here from 100. So when it comes to scenarios, 50% of users of subjects, sorry, do not know what a scenario is. 20% or so uh, when it comes to pivot table. But the remaining 80%, they said this, absolutely, that's important. Similar um, over and post graph. It is a beautiful graph. It took me a week to produce it. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, yeah, why not? We can uh, do a similar survey with Impress uh, again. Perhaps also with uh, Writer, of course. Why not for all modules? Um, answering such a survey in, in, uh, takes some time and we cannot um, occupy people for half an hour with re uh, yes one by one that's uh, the right way as you suggest on irc um, and after some time i think we can continue this uh, way of uh, questioning to the user to asking users how they like the application where they see the, um, the most relevant uh, additions yeah could you address a different audience uh, I cannot um, this survey uh, is based on reports from 1,200 people, and I don't have access to that many average users. I cannot just ask at the supermarket people, how do you like uh, the pivot table feature? I cannot make the application call home. I cannot run a survey starting from the application. So a bit difficult. Um, it would be nice. And I'm afraid Ilmarie is cutting off the, uh, the session now for the next speaker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, we are still waiting for the next speaker to enter the room. You want me uh, to ent entertain the audience? <laughs> <laughs> yes, some freestyle rap is always <laughs> welcome. Uh, um, but yeah, French preferably. But uh, yeah, because the next talk is not pre-recorded either, so it will be live. And I think uh, Italo is maybe having some technical issues. Flywire asked me on IRC, maybe surveys could be included with new releases. That's what I tried to uh, answer. Um, <laughs> I believe if you use LibreOffice, you are interested in uh, in this free and open um, idea of software, and you explicitly do not want software to um, generate data for some weird uh, organization behind. If you know that TDF is uh, are the good guys. Yes, maybe you want it, but basically you use an application to uh, to have your privacy and to not uh, get in contact somehow. Sure, we can have the discussion and we had it in the past. It was about um, user metrics. It was uh, to, to get real data from how people access Uni commands. It's uh, the functionality behind every command or everything. Uh, what you click in the UI, that's a Uni command, and we could, in theory, collect this information and send it to some uh, service that collects all the um, interaction from users. It the um, mm, well, there was a tender a um, couple of years ago um, to improve this. And meanwhile, we removed, actually, we removed the functionality from the program to store the 
uh, usage data. I, it's hard to imagine for me that we can yeah, um, restart this uh, effort and get real user data. And if it comes to surveys, uh, nothing is uh, unimpossible. Of course, we could include some link to a survey in a release, but do we want it? Yes, another info bar. <laughs> sure. Well, it's a good question and I cannot answer. I would love to get better data, uh, more data. It's always fun to analyze. It is not so much fun or it was not so much fun when Maria, uh, she did uh, the analysis of the open questions. And I think you can imagine that reading through all the uh, different uh, reports from users is um, not always perfect English and to, to aggregate everything into some categories, bring it together and collect the, uh, the, the user knowledge into something that can be reported. That is quite a lot of work. So big challenge and a lot of something that um, the kudos, the applause uh, should go to. Uh, 